We were joking around the other day, and Lisa said, I am not creating a gourmet meal. You know, I'm going to make it very simple. And so we said, which means, you know, pretty much everything is going to be out of cans and jars. <laughs> and so I wrote this poem. It goes to the tune of Jingle Bells. Andy, you might have to... Just in case. Remember, dun, 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 dun. In case you've forgotten what Jingle Bells are. Everybody can chime in. Here we go. <laughs> cans and jars, cans and jars. Thanksgiving's here today. We don't want no stinking food. Prepare the old-fashioned way. Hey, our Publix turkey is nicely cooked. The stuffing's in a pan. The mashed potatoes are ready to eat. The cranberries are served from a can. <laughs> we have beans and corn, carrots and peas. We pick them all ourselves. You know damn well we pick them all right off the grocery shelf. <laughs> oh, cans and jars, cans and jars, this is how we cook. Our happy time is party time, while the kitchen is for schnooks. Pots and pans and mixing bowls, throw them all away. We'll stick what's left in the microwave on this Thanksgiving day. Hey! wonderful, wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving Day. We thank you that this is the first time in quite some time that Ron and Nancy have had all their children and grandchildren here at one time, along with their loved ones, Alyssa and Jake. We thank you for this food that you have bestowed upon us today. Help us use it to the best service that we can to you, God. And we thank you for everyone's blessings that they give this family. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Can I say it? Play ball.